In this video, I will explain what the purpose is of the global definition in your gamma model. You use the global definition a lot of times, but it might not be very obvious what the global definition is actually for. The purpose of the global definition is to define the world in which your agents are living. This is the same as saying defining the model agent that you create when you press the simulation button on the top of your file. Now let's take a look at the predator-prey model to um, understand uh, the global definition a bit more by taking a look at what type of attributes and reflexes we actually define inside our global statement. For instance, we have a float number called prey max energy, which is defining the maximum energy that a prey can have. So this is a variable that is prey specific. So the reason that this variable is inside the global statement is because we want to use this attribute as an input parameter into our experiment. So what we see in our experiment is that we have a parameter prey max energy. So if you want to be able to adjust a specific attribute during your simulations, you have to define it in global to be able to make an input parameter in your experiment. One thing that you will mostly find in your global definition is the init statement. It includes everything that is defining the initial state of your experiment. Once I would push this simulation button on the top, everything that is inside the initialization statement will be initialized. So inside this statement we define how much preys, predators and how the vegetation cells are initialized. We create agents by using the build in create function. So what type of reflexes do we actually see in the global definition? For instance, we have a reflex called save results right here. Now this is typically a reflex that you would like to define to your global because it is saving some uh, data that you create during your simulation. And we also have defined a reflex called stop simulation right here that is using build in pause action and the build in pause action is uh, pausing the simulation. So these are typically reflexes that we define inside our global statement. Now I also want to take a look at another model, the road traffic model, which you can find under tutorials and then road traffic and I opened model 7. And I want to take a look at this model as well because there are some attributes defined into the global definition of this model that are very useful for you to know. For instance, we have uh, some files that are imported um, right here. And they are shapefiles. And shapefiles are used to um, import GIS data into your gamma model uh, to create, for instance, your uh, environment. Right under we see this step attribute. This is a very commonly used attribute that is defining the step size in your experiments. In this case, it is set to 10 minutes, which um, indicates that between two steps in your uh, simulation there is a 10 minute interval. Again we see the attributes number of people that is initialized as was the case in your uh, predator prey experiment and it is used again in the initialization to create the amount of people. So let's take a look at what is actually uh, done in the initialization of this model. Here we create some buildings and we define some characteristics of those buildings when they are initialized. Here we create the road by the shapefile roads that we have imported. And here we create the people and we also define the um, attributes with which the people are initialized. But you can see that again, the initialization statement is used to create the agents that we have defined. So don't forget to uh, use the create statements in your initialization uh, when you want to uh, make your own model. The agents that you define are only um, initialized if you actually define it inside your init statement. So what we have learned is that we define attributes that are not agent specific inside our global and we also define attributes that we have to use in our experiment as input parameters also, we define how to load in uh, GIS data, shape files, any other files that you want to import. You do it inside your global definition.
concerning reflexes, only reflexes that are characterizing behavior of the world and not specific behavior of agents. So that was it for this video. I hope that I explained to you what the global definition is for. If you want to know more about experiments or defining species, you can check out our videos on our YouTube channel. And I will see you in my next video.